36 years of age? No, you did not. What you sat up there and said is, we got a bad brother in our stable. This brother's something special. Look at what he does for us. He contributes to wins, not losses. We look at him and we have defined what his value is. We look at him and we say to ourselves, damn, this brother is special. And with the Phillies just getting, just, just getting Bryce Harper, with Bryce Harper unapologetic in his pursuit of Mike Trout to the point that the Angels felt compelled to pick up the phone and call Major League Baseball's offices to talk about the Phillies and Mike Trout, I'm sorry, Bryce Harper commenting about Mike Trout. What did they do? They turned around and they said, you know what? The fact that we've only made the postseason once since 2010, that means once in the last nine years. That damn sure wasn't because of him. This brother is special. Here's the first $400 million play in Major League Baseball history. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's what America is all about. It's what sports in America is supposed to be all about. You see stars in Europe from David Beckham on down getting taken care of. Lifetime deals or long deals or whatever. And I'm not one that's been down with those 10-year deals. I don't particularly like them. I really, really don't. I personally think, and I still hold true to my statement, that no player should be allowed to sign a deal more than six years. But my Lord, if ever there was an exception, if ever there was an individual that you take the rule book and you throw it in the river, if ever there was an individual to look at and to place your faith in and to say, excuse me, we believe in you. It is Mike Trout. This brother is absolutely positively electrifying in every way imaginable. He can hit, he can hit for power. He can hit for bases. He can run the bases. He can steal. He's improved his arm strength as an outfielder. He covers a lot of ground out there in center field. He never looks out of shape and unready. He's not an elite player. He's the elite player in all of baseball. His bat speed is there. His power is there. His skill sets haven't diminished. And again, wins above replacement. He's number one in history at his age. Number one, ahead of Ty Cobb, ahead of Mickey Mantle. And 10 games above anybody else playing the sport today. The fact that a team, even though the Angels do have a $3 billion television deal, even though they do have that, here's the facts. They couldn't lose them. They couldn't lose them. They're the Los Angeles Angels. I still call them the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's where they play. But the fact that they wouldn't lose him says a lot. It really, really does. And it's something all of us should aspire to achieve. I don't give a damn if you're a construction worker. You're a lawyer or a doctor. You're somebody working on Wall Street. You're an accountant. Hell, you're a sports reporter or a sports commentator. When you are great and you have established your greatness and you have shown no signs that that greatness is going to dissipate in terms of your impact to the bottom line, because ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something right now, particularly to your young whippersnappers out there, breath smelling like Similac, wet behind the ears, don't know a damn thing, think you know everything. Let me give you some pieces of advice. When you get up in the morning and you'll go to work every day and you aspire for greatness and to be rewarded for that greatness, 
You have to have some tangible piece of evidence validating your value. You have to be able to say, this is what I contribute to the bottom line of the people I have my hand out for, for monetary compensation. When you can do that, you're on to something. When you can't do it, you just run in your mouth. You don't understand business, period. Not just the business you're in, business, period. To have value, you have to validate yourself as a valuable individual to those who define value. Otherwise, you're nothing. You're nothing. And I don't give a damn what business you look at, what walk of life you're in. We don't have enough people preaching the importance of that. When I give speeches throughout this country, and I do often, I always tell people unapologetically, I wake up every morning from a business perspective with two things in mind. How do I make my bosses more money? And how do I get some of it? How do I get my bosses? How do I make my bosses more money? And how do I get some of it? When you do that, you're on a path towards success. When you don't do that, you're a pain, a nuisance. The equivalent of a person that comes to the boss with nothing to bring to the table but complaints. Never solutions. Because if you're thinking about winning, you'll always, have, you'll always have solutions. Mike Trout is a solution. He ain't a problem. Angels haven't made it to the postseason but once in nine years. It ain't Mike Trout's fault. He has nothing to do with that. He has absolutely, positively nothing to do with that. Mike Trout ain't the reason they haven't made the postseason since 2010. I can promise you that. Mike Trout's the only reason you really give him a chance. Albert Pujols signed for $240 million, but we know he ain't what he used to be. Mike Soche ain't forget how to manage, but there's was so much you can pull out, and nobody's confusing him with Bruce Bochy who's about to retire because you've got three world championships on your docket. And I love Mike Sosha. The reality is clear. When you look at Mike Trout, he's that great. And if you're, the, if you're Giancarlo Stanton for the New York Yankees, handle your business. I know this brother got $430 million. It doesn't mean Yankee fans are going to forget that you're in the midst of a $325 million contract. Even though you signed it with the Marlins, you a Yankee now. You a Yankee now. Now he's saying you didn't show up. I'm saying show up even more. You Aaron Judge, your day's coming. You're going to get paid mad dollars. Show up. Show up. Gary Sanchez, with all the damn potential that you have, show up. Show up. These are the cornerstones of the Yankees franchise. I can't wait for D.D. Gregorius to come back. I got that, but damn it, that ain't what I'm thinking about. Aaron Hicks, I appreciate the fact that you got your $70 million deal. You secured yourself and your family. You toiled through, through whatever you had to go through. You paid your dues. You got those guaranteed dollars. I personally think the Yankees got over because you should have got more. But I'm happy you're a Yankee. But the reality of the situation is when we look at the New York Yankees, we ain't think about them as much as we think about Stanton and Judge and Sanchez and Severino. Only reason we think about Sebastian is because he's about to retire and we appreciate his years of service and the greatness that he's blessed us with from time to time. But we know who the cornerstones of this franchise is or are. You look at Mike Trout, guess what? You'd give them all away for him. Am I lying, John? Am I lying? 
You'd give away the three of them. You'd give every fan that showed up to Yankee Stadium a bag of peanuts and some hot dogs and soda pop. You'd do whatever the hell anybody wanted you to do to get Mike Trout. If Mike Trout signed for $430 million and he was a member of the New York Yankees, people would be complaining all over the world. Them damn Yankees, they just buy everything. And we wouldn't give a damn. But he's staying in Anaheim. And that's fine. But let me tell you something. Even though he got his $430 million, you ain't forgetting the guy that got three hundred and twenty-five dollars wearing Yankee pinstripes. You're not forgetting the guy that might end up signing a $300 million deal down the road in Aaron Judge. You ain't forgetting about a guy, a catcher, with so much potential that's underachieved in Gary Sanchez. You're the New York Yankees. You see Trout's contract. You know what? You should be on a mission to show one player can't beat a great team. Boston Celtics, Boston Red Sox, I'm sorry, they doing it. They the reigning defending champions. J.D. Martinez ain't no damn bad outfielder. Look at look uh, look where they at. Mookie Betts is no joke. He ain't no damn Mike Trout. But you don't need Mike Trout to win World Series. You do need Mike Trout to fill the seats for 81 games. We're going to see what happens. This is a good day. It's good that Anaheim kept Mike Trout because you can't lose a player that magnitude. A guy that, by the way, had he fallen one other slot in the draft, the Yankees would have had him then. All I'm saying is, Look at it for what it is. I'm happy for Mike Trout. I'm happy the Angels did it. I think it's good for sports. I think it's good for Major League Baseball. I think it's good for corporate America. It's the largest contract in professional sports history, even larger than a $365 million contract that Canelo Alvarez signed with the zone, 30% higher than the $330 million contract that Bryce Harper signed with the Phillies. None of them still made more money or making more money than Floyd Money Mayweather, but that's a different story for another day. Meaning more money than he has made. But it is what it is. It's a good day. And it's a good day for all parties concerned because people are going to get paid in the future. And they're going to be recognized for their greatness in the future. But one player still does not make a team. The Yankees should be on a mission to remind everybody of that. And for those of you in New York that are upset that I didn't mention the Mets, please go sit down somewhere with Don Juan LaGreca. Mets ain't doing nothing this year. I don't believe in them. But we'll see. Their pitching is still studdish if everybody's healthy. You the Dodgers, you upset I ain't mentioned you. Well, maybe if you stop losing World Series, I'll start mentioning you again. You ain't won a World Series since 1988 and you in L.A. It's kind of pathetic. We shall see, y'all. We shall see. American League West is going to be interesting. Houston, Seattle. It's going to be interesting. Lots to talk about. I'll get into this. Take your calls on this. Plus talk about the NCAA tournament. Plus get into a little NBA action that transpired last night. And of course, Odell Beckham Jr., Eli Manning, and Dave Gettleman's Blasphemous, blasphemous comments regarding both of them. So don't touch that dial. 888-SAY-ESPN. It's 888-729-3776. You're listening live to Stephen A. ESPN Radio, ESPN News. That was Straight Talk Wireless. Nationwide coverage in America's largest and most dependable 4G LTE networks. By the way, if you haven't tried the delicious, high-quality meat from ButcherBox, you're going to be blown away. ButcherBox brings you the meat the way it's meant to be so you can get all of the benefits you're supposed to get. Unbelievable flavor and unparalleled nutrition. They work closely with the best farms and companies committed to raising animals humanely from grass-fed beef to free-range organic chicken to wild-caught sockeye salmon from Bristol Bay, Alaska. ButcherBox has over 20 different cuts of meat to choose from with customizable boxes and a variety of other options to choose from. And ButcherBox comes at an affordable price as well. With free shipping, you can get a month's worth of the best tasting meat from ButcherBox for less than six bucks a meal. ButcherBox is offering my listeners free ground beef for the life of your subscription and $20 off your first box when you sign up at ButcherBox.com slash Stephen A. 
Don't miss out on this special offer at ButcherBox.com slash Stephen A. ButcherBox.com slash Stephen A. That's with a PH, not a V. Don't touch that dial. More Stephen A. in a minute. Craving even more of Stephen A? Him of all people! For around-the-clock access to the man? I'm Stephen A! You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Stephen A. Smith and on Facebook at Stephen A. 